Hello and welcome to Photo Education Online. I'm Larry Lurcy and I'm going to show you today a really quick look at adjustment layers in Photoshop. I'm here in CS6 and um, if you do not have your adjustment layers um, palette open, you're just going to go up here to Window, Adjustments. It's going to bring up this little box here with all these little icons. Now, the adjustment layers are going to do a lot of the same things that we can do um, manually in Photoshop off using the, the uh, menu and things like that. For example, if we wanted to take this image and do a, lay, uh, a levels adjustment, we could go to Image, Adjust, Levels, make our adjustments, whatever, hit OK, and it's done. The downside to this is if you want to go back and change something later, it's a little more difficult. So we're going to drop back and start over. Um, do the exact same thing with a layers adjustment. So we go right up here to levels, click that, and you can see it brings it up. And let me move this to the side. And it's already set it up here and set up a mask for us. So this way we can go through, do the exact same thing we would do, adjust our darks, adjust the lights like that. Just put that off to the side. Now it's done. Now, um, in fact, let me just put this right under here so we can keep it in our sights. Now the cool thing is, because we've got this mask set up, we decide, well, that looks good except um, the jacket's too dark. I can click on that mask right there, bring up a brush, just a little bigger brush, and I can paint that away and bring back the lightness that I had in the jacket. So that way you can go through and put the uh, put these effects exactly where you want them, and it's so much faster than having to go in and do it do it all separately. Um, try another one for example. Um, we could go in and do um, the hue saturation. Now let's make this a little larger. You can see right here it's made a, a another adjustment layer right there, and it automatically brings this up for us, so we can go through here and say we want to bring the saturation down to give it kind of almost a pastel look like that. So we do that. There we go. There's not really any hit OK or anything like that. It's pretty much just done. You, you can um, close this little uh, palette up if you want, but uh, usually I'll just leave it open because the nice thing about this is if you go back and you say, you know what, that, that levels adjustment I did, I think that was too extreme. I can come right back in here, brings it back up, and I can make it lighter, darker, I can go back and change whatever it was I was wanting to change and um, go back, adjust the hue saturation again. They're all right there, so it's really nice. It's so much more convenient. Um, you can access a lot of these down here by, by clicking on this, and here's a lot of these same things, but by going in this way, it's really nice because you go right to the one you want, uh, it sets it up with, with a mask for you, and uh, it's ready to go. So that's a really fast way that um, you can start streamlining your workflow a little bit and give yourself flexibility to go back and make changes later. So give that a try and uh, mess around with these adjustments, and I hope that helps. Be sure to check back for more tutorials. Thanks a bunch. Bye-bye.